Hello all, welcome back. This is Christopher Dina from Trinity Software. In this tutorial, let us see a Python tips for beginners. That is, how to stop Python function from returning none value. The purpose of return keyword in a Python function is to exit the function and return the specified value to the caller. This is a syntax for a Python function. DEF, the function name, it can have zero or more number of arguments and it can have one or more statements and an optional return statement. So the Python function may return a value or multiple values. It can also have multiple return statements. When any one of them is executed, the function will terminate. If there is no return statement, then it returns none value. Now let us see the six possible circumstances where we get none values when we call the function and also how to prevent the function from returning none, thereby removing none in our Python output function that does not return anything that is it returns none implicitly you will see an example for it let me define a function called calculate passing two arguments here doing some calculation a slash b star 2 and i'm calling the function here print calculate okay we have called the function when executing we get none as the output so to overcome this you can return this variable return c so when we execute it now the value in c variable printed the second situation is that a function has a return statement that returns explicitly nothing let me have a simple function with no argument and just have a return statement that's it when we call this function none okay we can overcome this by returning a value here you can return any number or a string anything can be returned so when we execute it now whatever we have written in the function will be printed here you can also return more than one value okay and the third situation is that we may be calling a built-in function that does not return anything there are some built-in methods in python which does not return anything for example, add an element to the list. So I am passing list as an argument and the element to be added as second argument. So we will be appending a to the list. I am calling this method l.append a. It does not return anything. So if I try the return keyword here and when I am calling this function, adding, I am passing the list directly and the element to be added okay so when we execute we get none as the output because this l dot append method doesn't return anything so we can overcome this by returning the list after appending the element we execute now we will get the list with the element added okay so the next category is that a function returning a value only if a certain condition is met df function and passing an argument and a condition if a less than 0 return a string stating that it is a negative number i am calling that function print function by passing 2 as an argument in this case returns none as the output so you can overcome this by using an else statement or a default value by default let me return that it is a positive number so now it will return positive so the next situation is calling the print function twice this is the most common mistake which the beginners do we'll be using a print statement inside the function as well as when we are calling the function in that case it will return none a display function print the hello world and we are calling the function I use the print statement again here hello world is the output of the print statement inside the function and none is the output of the print statement outside the function so we can remove this none by removing this print here you can simply call the function when you are using a print statement inside the function so when we execute it now you will just get the hello world alone as the output okay 
So the last case is explicitly setting a variable to none and return that variable. Take the same example def display and I am setting res equal to none value to return res no. So this will return none as the output. We can easily overcome this by changing the value of the variable or you can change the return statement. Okay. That's it about how to prevent the python function from returning none value. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.